Hello and welcome to today's video. I hope you're doing well from wherever you're watching from. Thank you for tuning in to check on my work. I don't take it for granted. I am on a road to 10,000 subscribers. Thank you for all those who have subscribed to my channel. I don't take it for granted. If you are yet to subscribe to my channel, I hope you consider subscribing to my channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to crochet a beautiful bag pattern or rather a pattern that you can use to crochet a bag. And I'm using polyester yarn. You can also use t-shirt yarn. So to for this pattern, you'll need a lighter polyester yarn and a crochet. So I'm using four millimeter crochet size hook. Mm -hmm. And by the way, this is a crochet I've used since I was a little girl, very young, when I was starting to learn how to crochet. And now I'm, I'm old, I'm quite old, I'm a mom. So I really value this crochet. To start off, I'm going to burn the edges just slightly so that it doesn't run out. And then I'm going to make a slip knot and insert my crochet there. And I'm going to chain 15. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, and 15. I'm using polyester yarn. It's only that the color is different from what I showed you earlier. So I'm going to work single crochet all the way to the end of the pattern. Work single crochet all the way. So I have completed my single crochet for row one and I'm going to show you another way in which you can start off a pattern and I'm going to use red yarn. I've done a video on how to start off using this special technique. So make a slip knot, insert your crochet there, chain one and then into this space here chain another stitch take them out increase the row by inserting in this chain here i did this video I did a video on how to start off a pattern using this technique. So I am going to increase the length of this row. So I have completed row one. They look similar with the traditional way of chaining. So I am going to show you how to start off a bag pattern. So insert your crochet into the back loop of this row into this set of chains. That is what we're basically doing, using the back loop and working with this set of chains on this side.
this this pattern also applies to the traditional way of working the chains at the beginning that's what i mean when you get to the end of the row chain one and i'm going to insert this piece of yarn in there so that i can cover it continue with the same it's only that now they'll have these there are two rows here on this other side use the front loop use the front loop for this row and the back loop for this row Continue working till the end of the row. When you get to the end of the row, chain one and continue with the pattern until you achieve the desired length of your product or project. And now I'm going to show you how this pattern looks like in the long run. This is a bag that I'm making. It's a work in progress. But this is how the pattern looks like. It's good. I like it. It's, a, it's firm. And it looks good. This is how the inside looks like. I hope you enjoy working the pattern thank you so much for tuning in to check on my work i don't take it for granted and i'm really really looking to 10,000 subscribers thank you so much have a great time bye and to finish off sorry to finish off once you're done with the pattern do single crochet the normal way of doing the single crochet just combine um the front loops and the back loops together at once and you'll be done with the pattern thank you